you think after 260 coffee walk episodes we'd be more organized? Nope. Maybe number 400. Maybe. But we actually had all the tools, we just had to find them. They were on the truck. So why are we here so early? I don't know. Usually when we get here crazier, they were going on a super long run, like six or 800 miles in a day, right? Yeah. Maybe even a thousand. We're only gonna run 250 miles today. That's good. The owner of this car requested we get there early because it's hot outside. Yeah. So the heat index today is gonna be 112. Sweet. Which won't bother you because you're a young whippersnapper. You either, Zach. But, cool rescue, one we have not done on the show. Can't believe we have it, but looking back, we have it. We're gonna go rescue one of the first a body platform GM cars. So grab your cup of Joe and let's go. Right, we're now in Granberry, Texas, about eight in the morning. Good morning. Morning, sir. How are you? How are y'all? Great, great. Good, good. I'm Mike. Hi, Mike. Dennis Collins. Dennis. Mike Williamson. Dennis. Alex. Alex. Nice to meet you. This Alex. is Zach. Zach. Mm -hmm. On the camera. Oh, on the camera. Oh, you don't want to take it. Hey, I, 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 I might break your camera. <laughs> so you're the owner. I'm, I am. Okay. And this, and this is my good friend. Good morning, sir. Benny Heard. Nice to meet you, sir. How you doing? He's Dennis Collins, Alex Bowling, and Zach on the camera. Okay. Did y'all find it pretty easy? Yeah, no yeah. problem. No so, problem. So when did y'all leave to get here? Uh, six o'clock? <laughs> no, early, yeah, right at six. Yeah, did you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right at six. We got it before 30. Two and a half. Hours. We figured we'd try to get here before the heat. Oh, yeah. Well, we're, we're lucky right now because it, because it's cloudy and yeah. we've got a breeze. Uh, we'll I'll tell you what, yesterday afternoon, we, I like to burn that. It, it was hot. hot here it was yesterday. hot, hot, hot. I mean, it was sunny. I mean, it, we had a Sunday all day yesterday. It was just brutal. Uh, okay, so how, how long has it, how long go, has it uh, been parked? Let's go. I'm sorry. How long has it been parked? Oh, for, for a long time. On well, the picture, it looked like 1997. Well, I think it... Uh, it was a little longer yeah, than that. Well, so we just put a sticker on it. I drove it. I probably drove it uh, after that several years, but I it, I hadn't driven it in a long time. <laughs> well, so, I'm glad you guys moved all that before we got here. Well, I, <laughs> Normally, that's what we have to do. Well, that's what... That's what... Uh, awesome. That's what... Uh, this is it. All right. Now, like I say, it's been sitting here like this for years. Let me tell you a little, little history about okay. it. Okay. Okay. I used to, I, I drove it. I went through a divorce. I was, I planned on showing it some, you know, taking these shows. But I didn't have any, I ran out of money. <laughs> Uh-oh. So, it's set here. And it's, that's, that's, that's a brief story about it. Do you it. remember what year you bought it? Uh, let me think. Uh, 90, in the 90s, I can't remember what year it was. So did, did you pick this license plate on okay, purpose? Okay now, now, okay, now, this is the deal on the license plate. I found these, this is a set here. Okay. Uh, these are the rest, I found those rest, they were sitting on that table over there. So, so those are the original ones, I guess. Now the guy that's helping me clean out the storage building, he said he wanted those because he has a restaurant and he's putting all these, uh, these, uh, well, let me tell you why I'm going to arm wrestle them over this. Okay. If, well, if this, right, right, if, right, if right. this car hasn't been painted, it's right. silver blue, and silver blue code is FF. That's See, cool. So what are I the chances of that? I, I don't know. You know more about this <laughs> stuff than I do. Well, we're going to oh, find well, out. Well, well, look, I mean, I haven't, he just, he, I, I just found these yesterday for doing some work over here. And he saw these. I, I had a land here, and he says, Oh, I'd love to have one of these. I'd like to have a set of these. But now I'm I'm going to give you first shot because, you know, it's. I'm, these are in better shape because they haven't been painted on. Well, that see, he said these have been painted and these yeah. haven't. These are. He said these are the original, originals. Not that these are not original, but they've just been painted. I don't. But know. if it's color code FF, then That's they need to simple. have with it. Okay. Well. Was, so when we first walk up to look at the car before we, I want to just look at it real first, just so we see. Obviously, it's a '64. Yeah. Um, you got the V8 crest here. Okay, let me let me get out of y'all's way. So, that's the small one. Gotcha. Which means it's going to be a 283. 
Well, okay. uh, so if you had the flags here, you know, like you see on the other cars, yeah. that's a 327. And then the other thing that you can see that stands out is you can look back on the quarter panel and see yes. it's a Malibu. It's not an SS, so it is a Malibu. Let, let, cool. no, excuse me, I can right. just line Very good. Like did you put the wheels on it, or were they on it when you got it? I think I put the. I okay. think I did the wheels. on Because rally wheels. Yeah, I think I did. I yeah, believe I this would have been a hubcap car. Uh, now we automatic bench seat. Yeah. So yeah. y'all do know y'all do know about the '64 a little bit about the, a little bit <laughs> about the they 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 had two two kinds. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> they had the uh, the Super Sport, and then this is the Malibu. Right. <laughs> the Super Sport was the bucket seats. And the console in the floor. Do you, yeah, do you know about that? Absolutely. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm telling you something. I figured you already. No, no, no. I mean, I think just the fact that this like, is a V8 car helps a lot. Cause let me tell you about. I had, I had, I had the Super Sport. I bought both. I bought both these about the same time. Okay. Well, the Super Sport about two years ago, my grandson came down. My son-in-law grandson came down. And it was sitting right here, and they said, Grandpa. What are you going to do with that? Of course, it wasn't running like this one. He said, I said, well, I'm not doing it anyway because I don't have any money, <laughs> really any money to spend on it. He, uh, and so my son, I said, what do you want for it? I said, well, does Briggs really want it? And he says, yeah. I said, I'll just give it to him. Oh, that's awesome. And so when you know, I gave it to my grandson. So my son-in-law has spent some money, you know, uh, fixing it up and stuff. So but I, it, it was about like this one. You know, we've researched the umbrella caps, obviously, but that is a drum brake cap, so to be Ooh. correct. But what I want to see is we'll look at the VIN first, and then we'll go over the rest of the car. So the VIN tag, actually, on this car will tell the, the, you. The VIN, the VIN should be quite a bit. The VIN should be right there, I think. Okay, so Alex, we got a, a 4 for 64. Yep. 56 means it is a V8 Malibu. 53, I believe, would have been a six-owner six car. Okay. And then after that, you've got 37, which is a sports hardtop coupe. So no post. So you knew it was a sports hardtop when you walked up on it. It's kind of cool. Now, in the, the middle of this is an H is in Henry, which is kind of neat because uh, that's Fremont, California. These cars were built in like four or five different factories, and a lot of the ones I've seen in the Dallas area came out of Missouri. So, being this is a Fremont built California, I don't know, I'll say it's a California car, but hopefully it would be solid. Yeah. Being California in here. Uh, power Glide. So, knowing it's a 283 with the Power Glide, so there were like literally like 15 different motors in these cars. Crazy to remember the codes. I just had the, with the 283 Power Glide codes, there was only two. So, let's see if it's got the right motor in it. So, what'd you see? Battery. <laughs> well, I've seen that before. That was a heck of a hungry rat. Alright, so this this pad hadn't been cleaned, Alex. If you'll just, if you can see if you can get all what's on there. Okay. Or somebody sprays the paint out. So nobody's, nobody's looked at this, which is, we kind of like that, don't we? That's good. Shroud's still here, look at that. Cool. Uh, but anyways, well, look, okay, so let's see if it's a two barrel, four barrel, which you could tell by the code, but. Two barrel. Uh, you can see by the size two barrel. Okay, so the code for a 283 two barrel car is gonna be a JD, as in JD Pass. So let's scrape that and see if it's JD, and while you're doing that, well, let's look at the trim here real quick. And look at that, Alex, unbelievable. It is, it is FF. So the FF matches the license plates. So what are the chances of that? So that's silver blue. 739 trim, blue interior. The interior is blue, right? Yep. So accessories, sometimes they'll just have a line them across here. Looking at this car, it has almost no accessories. <laughs> but B70. We discussed this before. What is B70? So you could have a steel dash, or you could have what? Oh yeah, a dash with the dash pad. There you go. <laughs> so B70 is a dash pad. It actually has that option. So it is a uh, 
silver blue, blue interior, dash pad car. Now we're just gonna, I was gonna find out to see if it's got the original motor in it. We're hoping for a JD. You gonna do that with your fingernails? No. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we've got a dash pad. Okay, it does. It's, it's been removed. That's what these holes are for, is for the dash pad to pop in. So I'm put a cover on it. Seems look good. I have not. I, like I say, there's nobody been in that car in years. So. Mike, where did you find this car? I think. I know I got the, the, the Super Sport I got out of California. I'm not, I can't remember where I got this one. Well, this car was built in Fremont, California. Oh, was it? Yeah. Is he sure what this car you got out of California? Maybe. No, no, I got, well, I got I know, the Super Sport, I know. I, I don't remember whether I got this one out of California or not. I may have. I, I, I just don't remember. I, I either did that or got out of Dallas somewhere. Alex, the rockers are really good. The car looks good in here. Well, right motor, wrong motor. Wrong motor. What's it got? What's the code? Well, it may not be the original motor, but the car's solid. Look underneath it, out. Rockers are good. Floors look good. Good car. So not only was this the first year of the Chevelle in a production car, this was the only car in 1964 that was good completely redesigned car from the big four. Yeah. You normally have the big three. So the big four was American Motors. So American Motors was actually leading the medium sized car market at that time. Can you believe that? Awesome. So that was a big deal. So this car in, in 1964 when they came out with it, they had, it was a huge year for Chevrolet. They sold 330,000 of them. Okay. But there are many variations. Yeah. Two doors, four doors, hard tops, four yeah, I mean, well, there's 15 variations of motors, but yeah. it was a very successful car for Chevrolet. Oh. Really cool. Dennis, yes, need that. We actually got it cleaned off. I don't think it's the right motor, but the car's so straight, I'm just going to take it anyways and pay what we discussed on the phone. I'm not going to beat you up on the price at all. Okay, thank Does you. Does that work? That works. you have any keys? I don't know where the keys are. <laughs> <laughs> no keys! If they're, if they're not in there, they're probably not. They're, they're, I may have them at the house somewhere. I don't know. Well, that might make it fun, Alex. It might. I don't think it's a lock and now, call on that. Now, now there. Hey Dennis. Yes sir. You know what you always tell me? To look for the keys? The keys are always in the car somewhere. That's right. Glove box, under the seat, or, or the visor. On the visor. Boom! Love it. You remember how persistent we were in Houston that time we got those GTOs? Yeah. <laughs> I love it! Whose idea was it to look in the Corvette? My this guy. So this key was in the Corvette. I just reached in there. Look at this, Alex. And it's burgundy. It's okay. So, it so somehow it. somebody shoved that key in that. So that blue one was on the Corvette keychain, and this was in the ignition switch of that. I think one of those is a Corvette key. Because we were never gonna get those loaded up keys. And we finally found them. Here. Yeah. What's in there, dude? Sounds like. Eight tracks. If it is, I'm just. Can you scratch you another one? Is there eight tracks? Eight tracks. Okay, that's part of what I. That's what I, what I was driving around. That's part of what I was listening to. You want these? You want them? Absolutely. Okay. okay thank you, sir. Sure. Box eight tracks, Alex. Sweet. Priscilla likes that. <laughs> yes. Sir. And well, there's an eight track. Uh, there's... Well, let's see what you were listening to the very last time. <laughs> you were listening to. I have no idea. What is it? Music Express 20. Original hits from original stars, Casey and the Sunshine Band. Hey, hey y'all don't even know who that is. <laughs> oh, I do. I know you do. They don't. Uh -huh. <laughs> Michael Grooving back there, man. Well, I'll tell you what. I like I like that kind of music. Now, see, that's that dates me now. Okay, I just I, I don't know how to tell you how I am, but that's, that dates me. All right, Alex, I'm gonna get a bill sale, get him paid. Okay, and now you figure okay. out how we're gonna get this out. Okay, now gotcha. just a minute. Then okay, I, I got a question. Uh, okay, this bike over here. Uh -huh. Don't you look at it. Well, that's that is up to Alex and Zach. They're oh. the ones that buy motorcycles. Oh, okay. I don't know. If I they thought... buy it, they have to figure out how to get it on the truck. Okay. Because <laughs> it looks heavy to me. Well, it, it's, it's a 750. 
It's a Honda Shatta. Okay. So, whatever y'all think, it's uh, it doesn't run, of course. And there's some <clears throat> there's some that, there's the parts to it and everything. So, uh, just what you guys need is another project. That's no, right. we don't. You, you need a you need a project. What do you think, Zach? I don't know. Not for me, but I think you need it. I don't need any more. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. I like dirt bikes. I think Zach does too. Yeah. Assembling the car. <laughs> the antenna on your side. Antenna? Okay. Straight old cars. Look at the back. Yeah. It's really nice. It's got the overriders on the rear bumper. I'm surprised it didn't have them on the front. Maybe they took them off. California car. I think it would have had them on the front. I would have thought so too. That no, didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> so much for my restoration process. <laughs> I'll leave that up to Alex. I'll let Alex do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bring the truck. Alright, so which pair, which pair of these can I have? I'd like to have those. Well, well I'll tell you what. Um, I will sell those to you okay. for. Alright. How much? You tell me. I don't have got whatever. I, I don't care. Whatever. All right, we made a deal. We got two pairs of 64 plates, and that is just too cool having the color now, code on that one. Oh, the plates on there, just, they were on there, I guess, I assume. And I'm not sure. Does it have a sticker on that one? No. That's like. What? What? Do you, I mean, I don't know. That's the 90s style. The 90s style? Yeah. Okay, I don't know. We uh, well, yeah, this is 97, it looks like, was the last registration. The 97 last, but I, I, I promise you, I drove it. Now, this is what I did, Dennis. I drove it out here some okay. before I had to just... I, I had did to you just, ever do anything to this motor? No. So this motor was in it when you got it? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Let's we'll see if we can get no, some air I, I actually did nothing tires. to it. Just, right. I just drove it. Animal crackers. Oh, get those. Did we need to get this out? Is that oh, they'll last forever, I think. It's kind of like a McDonald's quarter pounder. <laughs> like I think they'll last for like 100 years. <laughs> Who's the golfer? Got our compressor built into the winch. So he's got a finger cross if it's going to go, right, Alex? Yeah. <laughs> it worked on the Ferrari. We're going to have to have, we've got four flat tires. My confidence level is high, the layer up. <laughs> At least three out of four. Do you know you can actually air up a tire without an air chuck? A lot of people don't know that. And sometimes it's easier. Right, Alex? Yep. Watch this. How do you do that? No air check. Boom. Go ahead, Alex. No, if you have it, it's got to have air, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's not getting any air, I think. No air. What? No air. No air. Well, my no air chuck trick seems to not be working. How about we flip the hose around? Let's try that. Watch this. We're going to miss the alley at this. We're going to flip down, flip it, and reverse it. See if that works. Oh. Ooh, that sounded good. I was actually in the truck. It'll work now. In the pin section. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Looks like my old school method did not work, so I guess don't try that at home. <laughs> there it goes. It's worked in the past. It's going up. My confidence level's back to high again. You're right. so my confidence level's back to high again. That's where I'm going to be, right? We'll get the front up first and then the back. So this is literally on the ground flat because you can read where it says belted right here it, it, it in the dirt. Flat. It says belted oh. right there in the oh dirt. Oh my gosh, that's I'm pretty sure that's flat tire on the ground. <laughs> there we go. A big tire. 
So these are going crazy slow because they're not pushing a whole bunch of volume of air through that small pump on the winch. But it'll eventually get there. You think after 260 coffee walk episodes we'd be more organized? Nope. Maybe number 400. Maybe. But we actually had all the tools, we just had to find them. And they were on the truck. This is why we are so organized to have all this equipment so things can go just swimmingly. You're not laughing, Zach. Look at that. This plant is coming together. Look, I just did it. Look at that. Push down on the tire in the softest spot, and the bead's going to seal. Power of positive thinking. There you go. And never giving up. You never give up. Look at that, sir. Look at you. That's what happens when you got all the right equipment. It's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, yeah. Which compressor? <laughs> that thingy? Yeah. Hey, hey, you know what? That's what. That's the main. You got the right stuff, it always works, right? Outstanding. I sit for 26 years. Your prediction on how many brakes are going to be locked up? It's been inside. I think That's what zero. I was going to say. You stole my oh, line. Oh well. But yeah, it's been inside, so I think once we yank them, they pop loose. It'll be fine. I'm predicting the uh, right rear is going to be stuck. Oh really? Just my prediction. I don't have any way of knowing that because we haven't jacked that up. You want to steer? You want me to steer? You out steer. Okay. Make sure it's out of gear though. Yeah. <laughs> Put it where it says Nancy. Mm-hmm. Let it rip. Go ahead, Alex. Pull out tow the car straight behind the trailer. First time of light of day in 26 years. I want to thank you for being such a good caretaker of that car for so many years. Well, I did. I just didn't, you know, I just didn't drive it for a long time, you know, and so. And for storing it inside for 26 years instead of outside, right, Alex? Yeah. No, no, I didn't want to have it outside. Well, if it, if it had been outside, it would have been. It you know, hurts. Like, them. It hurts bad. Yeah. But silver blue on blue, 283 Power Glide. Was cool car. Silver. Yeah. Silver blue. Was it really? Yep. Color code FF, like on the license plate. Really? We got one more question. Okay. Your favorite local place to eat. Oh, really? Since it's early in the morning, how about a breakfast food or brunch or something like that? Wow. Well, well Dennis, you know what's open? No, I, I meant, I meant, uh, <laughs> Denny, do you know what's open? Uh, you know, do y'all like, there's a Chili's. I'll tell you what, there's a Pam's. Uh, there's a Pam's on one part. As you go into town, there's a Pam's on the left right there. Okay. It's pretty, it's they good. They have a good breakfast. Well, that's where we're gonna go. If you, you guys want to join us, meet us there. If okay. not, we appreciate your time. Well, I'll, we'll meet you there. Outstanding. <laughs> They're gonna meet us there. Okay. Pam's home cooking in Granberry. Sound good, Alex? Hey, Sounds is that okay? Good. Let's go. No, go ahead. Y'all, you sure? Ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna do the B4. How do you want your eggs? Over easy. Toast or biscuit? Uh, pancakes with blueberries. <laughs> And uh, hash browns crispy. Right. So that's eggs over easy with country ham. <laughs> and you? I'll get the B2 eggs uh, scrambled. Toast or biscuit? I'll just do toast. Hash browns with ketchup, of course. Eggs over easy. Should we put Tabasco on today, Alex? Absolutely. Feeling spicy today. <laughs> That's time we go in. I think it's some regular pepper. We got pepper over there? Salt and pepper. 
can't see It'll it. Take a minute to build the best bite here. I'm thinking blueberry pancake on the bottom, then a piece of ham, a little bit of hash brown, and dip it in the egg. Dip it in the butter too. Butter too? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, all right. Blueberry pancake. Piece of ham. Oh, you got the butter. Ah. You know what else it needs? Hash browns. Syrup. Who would be syrup with this with the hash browns on the next one? Slice of heaven right there. Oh man. <laughs> sure does look good. I highly recommend it. Mine was good. Outstanding. I haven't had blueberry pancakes in a while. It did look good. Really good. <laughs> you got FOMO now on pancakes? Yeah. Well, there you go. That's what you get for eating healthy. Back out in the heat. All right, well, we rescued a great one. All the way back to Wiley. As always, please like, share, and follow, and most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next week.